Hi Capricorn, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is your weekly uh, tarot reading, general tarot reading. Oh, my nose is itching, that's good. That means I'm tuned in. Um, for the week ahead, which is the 15th to the 21st. Um, my calendar is right behind, that's why I was looking. Um, but if you find this at a different date, that doesn't matter. Tarot gives you a message when you, you need a message. Um, all the housekeeping stuff is down below. I'm gonna get into the reading. Um, the different position is so you can see the table and because I'm moving my room around a bit I've got other things that I need to have this room function for now so we're, we're trying to rejig and it might change again by next week but we'll see um as I was shuffling the cards before this um karma is about to come in out of nowhere so I really hope um that the outcome you had the tower card with justice um the tower card that's that's either a decision that's coming out of nowhere on something um but the outcome depends on what energy you have been putting into a situation so i don't know if you're about to get some news out of nowhere and it'll either be the news has come out of nowhere like a big shock like <laughs> something major obviously something major is going to happen something's never going to be the same again after this comes in that's what the tower is for but it's whether it's a good or bad whatever's the same after um in the sense that either somebody's going to bestow good news on or a major life-changing news for them on you but um you're either going to have a sense of well why am i finding this out now out of nowhere why was i not informed in the pre-decision uh, why was i not involved in the pre-decision one it's probably not your job to even be involved in that decision and i don't know why you're having that question two they would have kept you in the loop with their planning if you had a better relationship if that's the case um but this is major um, and the fact that justice has come out with it is like, it's either going to be really good news from a, like surprise, you're going to be a grandparent or um, surprise, I've got you this amazing gift or whatever. Or it's going to be, oh, we're moving out of area and you'll be like, well, why didn't I know anything about this? <laughs> like it will come as a huge shock. Like, why didn't I know anything about this? And I don't know if you'll say that out loud, Capricorn, but it's like, why has this come out of nowhere? They must have been planning it if they know that they, this is happening. Um, why am I only being told when it's happening rather than it might be happening? Um, so yeah, the justice card comes in because it's 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 directly, the way this comes in, good or bad, is directly relating to the relationship you have with the person. So if you've put in a lot of effort, a lot of um, energy, love, poured it in as long as you haven't been toxic then the results should be a, a positive one for the news um but equally if you've put in um toxic energy then um absolutely it's going to come out the, the other way for you um what i've got is the um knight of swords and you've also got the two of cups um for these people, it could be that somebody's found someone and they're about to introduce you to their person um, that means a lot to them, that's important to them. Um, equally, um, the news that they're bringing in, you need to be happy for them because they've made this decision based on them and their unit. I'm getting that it's two people that are coming to you with news. Whether they have children or not, I don't know, but the decision has been made between these two people. So it's not directly within, well, it might be within your relationship because it might be you and your other partner. Um, but they're coming in with this news. To them, this news is amazing. So please do not tarnish their joy with your questions of why didn't you tell me? Why is this coming out of nowhere? Um, be happy for them. Um, when they give you the news, that is not the time to have a conversation about, well, why wasn't I, why is this the first time knowing about it? Um, yeah. Yeah that's that's all i'm saying on that front but yeah news is coming in quite quickly um because it's coming in with this knight of swords energy instead of like um whatever um the reason i say be careful and be more positive in it is because with this if they're coming in with this energy the knight of swords if you are negative to them in any way in a non-constructive way even if you think you're being constructive don't even go negative in this situation at all have that conversation later but if you steal their moment their thunder their joy oh my god the knight of swords lashes if it's not positive um this is about them and their joy or you and your joy but um 
yeah something life-changing is coming in news is coming in about a couple that's going to make them so incredibly happy incredibly happy this is the ten of cups this is incredible happiness for someone whether this is you or them um it could be that um you <laughs> your partner tells you that you're pregnant or um a proposal comes in or it's this is very general so whatever it is coming in um they're bringing it in in a place of joy and positivity it is in no way to hurt or damage you what they're saying um unless <laughs> what the the news they're sharing isn't to do with you directly um it could be that they've had a job like they're excited because of how it affects them not because of how it affects you um and your negativity it's it's that thing isn't it where even in a crisis whatever the situation is if it's about them whether that's because they're ill or because they're celebrating or whatever if you have negative connotations or feelings around that situation you dump out of the circle there are circles of around a person or a situation you dump out of the situation you do not go and spoil someone's happy news that they want to emigrate to another country say or they want to move to a different area or they've got a job and it means going wherever or um Yes, it may affect you negatively, but they are telling you some incredible news. And if you truly love them, would you want to steal that amazing moment from them by going, but what about me? And if your instant reaction is, but what about me? Maybe that's why they didn't tell you until it had got to the point where the decision was already made. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, because any negative like feelings like that, like but you, have you considered xyz taking away from this amazing news from them is not in any way gonna <laughs> benefit your relationship with them in any way because you're making it about you and this is their news four ones they just want to celebrate they just want to celebrate they're telling you amazing celebratory news it's not about you in this situation, unfortunately, Capricorn. It's about you going, right, okay, I'll go and discuss that somewhere else. Like, they didn't tell me. Why didn't they tell me? Discuss that with your partner. Discuss it with your friends, whatever. Discuss it with friends that aren't going to leak it, but a trusted place to, to, to do it, a safe space for you to do it. Not gossipy friend, whoever, that gossipy friend Debbie down the road who you talk to about everything and, and, and let everything out to, but you but Debbie tends to leak things off to other people. Don't do that. This is, You need a safe space where you can share and offload that, well, I'm a little bit hurt actually that they, they only told me once it was happening. Well, yeah, because it's not news, is it, until it's actually happening <laughs> and you're not involved in the planning process, so they're not going to tell you until they have it in place. Um, and if you're the sort of person that goes, well, why are you doing that? That's not fair on me. Then that's why they didn't tell you in the plan, involve you in the planning, because you took them out of this amazing thing. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting, um, that this is a celebratory moment. Um, and it's not, they don't need to be aware of how that affects you emotionally right now, other than, oh my God, I'm so pleased for you. Isn't that amazing news? Um, you need to dump your, oh, your negative feelings towards that elsewhere yeah otherwise the more you yeah if you go into it positive overflowing love back at you um negative if 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 the, if the situation is well why haven't they considered me in this then that is because of that situation you need to look at why that is a really good question actually why didn't they include you in the planning why didn't they tell you that this was possible and that's kind of what you need to is what it says at the bottom with the moon why didn't they involve that's that's the true question but you shouldn't be asking them you should be asking yourself why did they feel like they didn't couldn't come to me until it was happening so yeah maybe yes that's the true question why didn't they come to you before it was happening anyway capricorn um i hope that's been of some help at some point i'm really hoping that i don't have to keep telling capricorn some harsh truths um, but yeah, as long as you have been um, pouring love and positivity into a situation, then it's incredible news and you can just celebrate with them. If 
you have and again with the five of cups that is if you focus on the good you'll get the good if you focus on the bad you get more of the bad so if you have been going into a, a relationship negatively um then yeah maybe you've been going in overly critical and they don't want somebody overly critical they'll just tell you when it's happening like they probably told other people before you because they want the celebratory moment because they know that coming to you is just going to be the whole can of worms of well what about me it's not about you in this situation it's about them and you need to be <laughs> when you had a child think of all like if this is to do with a child when you had that child think of all the amazing things you hoped that child would get to do and now you're punishing them for going to chase it that's kind of not fair um and that's not what you do that's not unconditional love unconditional love means you you want to see the best for them you wish them nothing but happiness and positivity and if you're going, what about me? Do you really love your child unconditionally? If this is to do with a child bringing you news. So anyway, I hope that is of some help to you, Capricorn. Um, hopefully I'll see you again next week. Um, bye for now.